Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. MoCalever and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, or really, in April 1937, in which we're playing as a CSA. Now, I played the CSA in Kaiser Redux before, twice actually. I've done the Butler Coup, I've done the Al Capone Path, but this time, I want to try to get someone else, and unfortunately Pennsylvania is completely undefended because I apparently just got soldiers from Illinois. Oh, that's not good, but hopefully we can do this okay like, but hope you guys are having a pretty good day, because right now, we're at war. And actually... Uh, I made sure we had a peace deal with the these guys over here, so that'll be okay. We can... It doesn't matter. Just we can one of those groups. Uh, yeah. But for real, these right now... Um, uh, actually, just screw that. Screw all that stuff. Uh, yeah. It's not looking really good at the beginning of the campaign, now does it? Really doesn't look too good, now does it? Internal conflicts. If you like to read about that, please go ahead. I've read this before, so this is a cynicalist nation now, or a single traditional vote is fair. Realistically, I don't really care which way we go at the time of this recording. Uh, Social Patriots calling for one-time universal citizen vote. Okay. Maybe, yeah, why not? We'll try that one. Why not? Cool, let's take New Jersey's, and then we can help stop these guys over here. And Social Patriots unify legislation. If you like to hear about that, please go ahead. Sure, why not? That sounds like an okay idea to us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we've already gone ahead. And uh, I've, as you see, I've already done a lot of things off screen. We're going to go to the wobbly militarization. The IWW syndicalist doctrine claims that the most consistently Marxist and logical principle is using the worker one means of production against the capitalists, allowing us to outproduce and outmaneuver them as we rely primarily on our motor power to liberate the workers. Because I've done it using superior firepower, but I want to try mobile warfare for this campaign. Hopefully, it goes relatively okay. Even though we just need more soldiers actually on the front. Um, really? I don't maybe mind doing this immediately. Just, eh, we're not even on there yet. So let's do that one. We'll do one of these at a time, so. Alright, let's move on in. Let's move on in. Let's see if we can move on in as well. Very good. If they leave Baltimore, that'd be actually pretty darn good. But, we actually might be able to get all of this area then. Because we have four of these divisions doing pretty darn well already. As long as we don't lose too much against these guys. Oh, look at that. Chilean volunteers arrive. Our comrades in Chile have sent volunteers to assist us in our endeavor to bring revolution to the U.S. Perfect. Also, we're using the Station to Toolmod as well as Player of the Peace Conferences. But if you'd like to read about Directive 10, please go right ahead. Their wealth and lives are ours. Or, we may need moderates in the future. Um, I don't want to lose stuff, so... Cool, why not? We'll see what happens. We really will see what happens, so... And right now, we're using a lot of militia. I really don't like using militia, so go and stop, guys. Don't worry about it right now. Uh, you guys have as well. Uh, but it is what it is for now, just because we don't have enough guns. It, we never have enough guns. Oh, look at that. That's actually pretty nice. Thank you very much. And how are we doing over here? They are spreading out like a cancer, which is quite bad. Just don't lose Philadelphia. That's probably my main goal. And the Spartacate, if you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Nice. Wow, we don't have a lot of population. So let's make sure we get a lot more then. Um, yeah, that's looking just really not bad. I really hate it when you begin the Civil War and you're just really not ready to do anything here. You're really just not. But it's okay. My goal is just to kind of hold out for now. Hold out for as long as we possibly can. So the Peru Bolivian Confederation is stored. Very nice. My goal is mostly just to hold on, for the most part, um, for in this episode. And eh, if we can beat en enemies up, that'd be great. The Tool Ultimatum. Oh, that's not good. Did they get us there? Uh, the Traditional Union Unity League. All right. So if you want to read about that, please go ahead. We must appease Foster. Act against Fosterite threats. Oh, do they enable Vedas? Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. I'm glad I looked at that. Stupid feds. Thinking they own the place, huh? Um. Yeah, well, things happen. We don't have a lot of fuel, so we do kind of keep that in mind. And more divisions. Yes, Mexico. We love Mexico here. As you can see, we're not doing very much against the car at all, which is totally fine with us. Even though we might be able to pu push them out of... Uh, Ohio. A little bit. We do need Cincinnati, so. Um, you guys keep these guys in place for now. You guys can actually probably move in down south, so that'll be good. Please just kill them off. Please, 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 please. If you can't kill them here, that's I don't really care, I'll be honest. There you go. Just hold the line. That's all we gotta do. Hold the line, man. Just hold the line. And then kill these guys off. Stupid feds. I think they own the place. Oh, uh, they put another division in there, too. That's why I don't like using militia. Militia are just very bad. I'll go in the Spartacade. Neither good nor bad. All right. We'll get there eventually. We're definitely to deal with this stuff. So, the tool weakened. Very nice. Very nice. As several tool rallies have been disrupted by the military and some of their soldiers and loyalists have met sudden and violent deaths in the past week. Foster's little choice but to take Butler's direct warning 
to him today to heart, agreeing to stand down and allow for politics to be settled after the war is over so long as we cease anti toll activity. Good. Oh, that's not good. How do they get down here? Nijd? Yeah, these fed boys gotta go. Uh, send you over here. You got more divisions? That's good. Oh, it's on this side too. That's actually really good. Now, I don't like militia, but... So be it. Actually, do they have any bonuses? They must be... Do they have a bonus against us? No, they don't. Oh, huh. alright. Well, whatever. Do the best we can. As long as we get Atlantic City, they lose all their, uh... There's not victory points. Score. Supply. Oh, man. Yeah, infantry is just so much better than militia. Militia is just god-awful. Uh, for now, there's not really much we can do about that. We, oh, let's see. All you guys. Guerrilla Warfare. Let's go Scavenger. I like Scavenger a lot for right now. That'd be very, very useful. And in Sparky, too bad it ended. Alright, kill these guys. Also, we can help reinforce the lineup here. I really don't want to lose this, but it won't be a big deal if we lose that. Don't worry about attacking. Seriously, don't worry about attacking at all right now. Cool. And we will convert a lot of the divisions over. Hopefully, we don't get invaded again. Um, Realistically, I guess I'll send you guys over here. Two, three, yeah, something like that. You guys should be able to move pretty darn quickly. And having the river is pretty good. Re Syndicalist Revolution is in Switzerland. Also, I don't think I set up anything special for this campaign, like in game rules and such, so... It should be pretty normal, but if you like to about the Directive 764, please go right ahead. The Socialist Family or on Reactionary Enemy? Hmm... Do we want more war support? We already have a pretty good war support, so let's get more stability. How about that? Bourgeoisie flee to Canada. The revolution will come for them in time. Seriously, man? You, you just let them in. Well, let the let MacArthur bleed. Support the Black Belt? Do we want to support the Black Belt? Sure. Why not? That sounds like a good idea. Hey, got that part of uh, Ohio back. That's what, it call, that's what they call it. Yeah, Ohio. Yeah, these... Militia is just not forget. Okay, attack again. If they want to do this type of crap, then so be it. And of course, Canada supports the federal government. How dare they interfere in American affairs? Cynicism spreads in Burma. Very, very good. I we like that here. And we're gonna take our tile back, you pieces of garbage. Social patriots and power, which is something I kinda of actually wanted. As they've been an increasing majority in Congress and had enough popular support that even the IWW's losing ground to them. The so, so social patriots are increasingly running Congress to the consternation of the left radicals, especially as the legislation often favors their faction. Even more. We max them out. Nice. So from here on out, at this point, we got to get another army going just for a front line against the, the American Union. Because we're at peace with them right now, but that peace is not going to last very long. Let's be realistic here. It ain't going to last long. My goal is just build up as many guns as possible so we can convert our divisions to infantry that uses artillery as well. So that's my goal. That's our goal right now. And we are trying to, I guess, build... Well, nothing here. I was thinking about playing as Hungry too, but I don't know. Hungry seems a little difficult. Good luck keep it making more stuff. Christ of the, on the Danube. If I could speak, that would be great. Great, great, great. Syndicalism prevails. That's a lot of fed boys here in Pennsylvania. They're really quite spread out, though, so let them attack us like crazy. Left radical revolt. Oh, a small segment of the radical left, or left radicals, have decided to endanger the entire CSA over the issue of social patriots gaining power. Calling themselves the vanguard of the revolution, who they are a group of collectivist syndicalists, Galenists, and some militant anarcho communists who have taken up strong, small, small strongholds in the cities in a set of blockades. With Foster now having much of its toll effect to them, they are now warning us to surrender before they retake the nation. However, while their actions have been a thorn in our side, has not endangered much love amongst the populace, and them endangering the existence of the CSA has angered even many syndicalists. With, with even part of the tool itself breaking off from Foster, we can end the threat, but it'll be bloody. Take them out. Take them out. And we are, and honestly, we are. Oh, there goes Spain. Uh, trying to make. Well, I was trying to make some tanks. Actually, I had to set this up twice just because I made a mistake earlier. So, cool. And we should get some guys very soon. Um. I want these guys to attack us, actually, instead of anybody else. I don't want to attack three divisions. That's way too many. Over here, actually, might not be bad. Radicals crushed, though. The ultra radicals have been crushed, and with it, our position is cemented. With even many Tulk leaders appearing to have fled for the commune of France, we are at last victorious. The social patriots passing legislation to mimic more traditional democracies by making it easier for non-union voters to influence elections. The future of our nation appears to be in their hands, though the IWW still remains as a force with local syndicates, as continuing the war without them would be impossible. Cool. And like I said earlier, we're just getting ready for this stuff, so. And anyone we'll get on defense? No. Oliver Law. We like Oliver Law here. Up next, let's go ahead and get some in Pennsylvania before we lose it. Hopefully well, we don't, but you never know. If you're actually going to win there, I don't mind helping you out then. I know it's over the river and such, but still.
They do have two divisions there, which isn't very good. I mean, if they're slowly winning, I do want to support them. So, we'll see what happens. Scarface offers his support. If you like to about that, please go ahead. Abiding criminals, we surely aren't that des desperate. Yes, we are. We need more weapons. Of course, we agree. An enemy of the reactionaries is a friend to us. 2,500 units of 30-odd uh, 30 30 8 models, 1903s, A1s. That's, that's a huge bullet. And then 5,500 units of basically the same thing, except it's not the A1 version. Wow. That just gave us a whole lot more. The military demands IWW support. The IWW leading military has been disturbed by the social patriots dominating Congress and have called on a compromise in which we grant greater local power to syndicates. And it's common so they're not overly influenced by our agenda. Of course, this decentralization will weaken us. Nope. The mob gets involved in the war. If you want to read that, please go ahead. An enemy of the reactionaries is a friend to us? Friend? What's a friend? <clears throat> yeah, I'm not so sure about attacking you guys. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure about that happening. So, ooh, yes, Capone, Bonnie and Clyde, yes, please, thank you very much. Why don't you send you over here? No, sorry, send you over here. That'd be good. Wobbly uh, militarization. <clears throat> Revive motor factories. A great deal of motor factories were damaged or abandoned in the aftermath of the initial revolution. Rest restarting or repairing them is an absolute must to improve our military capabilities. In which you do get 10% more organization, which is pretty nice. And you get a lot more stuff to do here, so that's actually not too bad. Pretty darn nice. If I say so myself, I'm a cynicalist. Coup! The IWW military under the direction of Big Bell Haywood has couped Congress and reinstated Haywood with its original executive authority, rallying against social patriots for forcing his hand with their undemocratic actions. While well, social patriots have decried this, although an attempt by AFL militias is to push to push back failed, we now have a choice of allowing them to stay in Congress so long as they accept their leadership or purge of social patriots who push against their demands. Foster has called for a purge against his rivals, but Dorothy Day would prefer amnesty, saying that our democracy is new in missteps and confusion under such circumstances. And was likely inevitable, and to enact a purge to reenact the capitalist democracy's repression. It is all about removing oppression if you are a left-leaning, or I guess hard-left member. Well, amnesty for loyalism, for now. Yeah, that's a bit extreme over here. This one, you'd be better if you focused down here, guys. Good old mafia ingenuity, if you want to hear about that, please go ahead. Someone say that Capone is abo now above the law. It's all about reading about a sub. Are we actually losing political power? We just don't have a lot, do we? Oh, what's going on here? Anything? No? Okay, cool. And you guys head over here, too. There you go. Oliver Law is looking okay. We probably need to support someone else here up here. Um, Cannon? Cannon goes boom. Mm, I'm going to wait to see what we want to do with him. What else do we have? 7 6 in Wisconsin. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Well, we might as well delete him then. We actually have enough. We do. Okay, so at this point, we need more artillery. Because what we're going to do is this. You guys. Talk to the army too. We're just going to. We have to do that. Because militia sucks. I'm going to convert all the militia eventually over to stuff. There you go. Cynical's dominance. The social patriots within Congress have utterly failed to throw around the influence in such a way as to cut ra left radical influence while gaining their own. With the majority of Congress controlled by syndicalist unions who have the lion's share of control, it's clear that the social patriots will have to take a back seat to the revolution, hoping to gain whatever favors and union influence they can to prop up their local power bases and get rewards for their members. The revolution is secure. Well, I'll be honest, like I didn't really care which way we went. So, no, I didn't, didn't really care this time. Um, uh, really? I'm not really sure where to send you guys then. You guys keep getting attacked down here, which is fine with me, but... I have a feeling these guys are going to attack relatively soon-ish, but I would like to push down and get these guys out of Indiana, at least. So we have a lot of syndicalists. Cool. Yeah, see, I knew they'd be attacking eventually. And a lot sooner than I thought that would actually happen, so... Yeah, the feds, I mean, this is why you don't ever use militia. Radicals oppose a treaty! With the social patriots losing the internal struggle for power in the Congress, the radicals within our Congress increasingly oppose the treaty as long as we appear to be defeating the car. I don't know about that, but as such, the press is to destroy them since there's no compromise that revolutionary socialists can make with the capitalist power competing for the same territory, noting that if we don't attack him first, he'll inevitably anyways and endanger the future of the revolution. We could use the remaining political power to buy time with Congress, however, albeit no more than a week or so. We need to, I, I'm going to prolong it. We don't have enough divisions on the line there yet. I want 24 over here, and anything else? All these guys have to be converted to this. So we, we really don't have enough artillery pieces for this, but it is what it is. Support from Cindy's. Cool. It'll be great help. They only got 50? So be it. So be it. What if you just started at hold? 
Get back in there, boys. We have enough guns. Just artillery at this point. You know, lower by five then. Really help them out. Can you buy stuff from anybody else here without doesn't revive Congo combos? Establish CIA. <clears throat> if you want to about that, please go right ahead. CIA will be created. No, it's not necessary for now. Female soldiers. Rebel girl, you're the queen of my world. Nice. Radio's nice to have, and let's come over here and start, we'll, do, we'll do that anyways. Get some better artillery, shall we? As you can tell, we're really not trying to fight here too much. Mozambique Bush War, very cool, very cool, cool. Yeah, we'll take some stuff. We'll take some stuff, yeah, totally. And anything else? Yes. West Virginia, yes, yes, yes. Congress will dissolve the treaty. Treaty, oh. The Revolutionary Congress has absolved the treaty completely and declared a revolution against the petite bourgeoisie American Union seat, which will cause cesspool faux populist de demagoguery and reaction cloaking itself as progressivism. As such, we are at war with the American Union state. The American Revolution is imminent. Nice. At least take the rest of Wisconsin. That's that's your goal. That's our goal right now. Take at least the rest of Wisconsin and St. Paul if you can, possibly can. Get out of here, head. Now we got all these fronts here. Um, realistically, uh, I, I mean, I'd rather do this stuff. We can push against the federal front, I suppose. Give us a little bit more defense for now. I'm, I'm not going to be attacking very much at all. I mean, if, if you guys can do well, like, go right ahead, guys. If, it, if you can really do that well, I'm totally okay with that. On this front, I, I want to attack these guys. Even though I love to do in Sukkot, we don't really have the strength for it right now. Hey, more military factories? Nice. I go with a few more trucks, and then a few more of these guys, too. Hey, good, yeah. Take as much land as you possibly can right now. Oh, they're attacking us, too, huh? Well, that's not ideal. You should be able to hold here. I mean, I guess they do have one infantry division there, but still. Oh, uh, they, do they have the thing against us? No, they don't. Huh. Mob activity, huh? Alright, so at this point, you guys can stop attacking. Um, if you're successful over here, Dutch volunteers arrive. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. It's all the help we can get. We'll take everything we can. Nice. So, the, here, I'm going to throw this one guy over there. But anything, any other divisions that we make, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, like, delete the guns, maybe? Depending on what we have or what we need. Oh, look at that. Nice. Think about Just because we need more guns. Maybe we need more artillery, but... Eh, maybe we could use more divisions. It's alright. Whatever. West Virginia. There you go. I mean, realistically, you can join in here, too, so. Just one gigantic solid front line. That's all I really care about right now. Cool. And you'll be led by Benjamin Katine. Oh, yeah. You guys go in there, too. There you go. Well, since we're here, anyways. Get someone else. There you go. John Tisa. Nice. You actually won here? That's good. That's good. Um, it is 37. Let's grab some of this too. This first industry is very good to grab as well. Let's grab some construction speed. Oh yeah, I forgot about fighters. Oopsie, my bad. Um, wow. I'm, we made a lot of tactical bombers. Why do we make so many? Yeah, whatever, I'm not going to complain really about it, so. As long as you win against some feddies, that's all I care about. Oh, don't worry about that. Don't, 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 don't worry about attacking. Don't worry about attacking. You guys keep defending for now. We actually took half of Minnesota, so I'm actually feeling pretty good about that. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but that's, that's pretty nice, actually. All right. New Jersey? Ah, Indiana first. Indiana. Hit them federal militias. Um, how are they striking here? Because I don't want to deal with these guys. I really don't. At this point, you all just convert to this. Anything else here? Not yet. You guys are still getting attacked. Alright, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Head on over here if you can as well. That'll be good. Good. Red Terror. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Today is the final conflict, after all. I'm getting a lot of army XP, too, which is really nice. Oh, my God, they're taking Pittsburgh again. Red Witch's death is in the air. Nice. Um, please get in there.
Oh god, we're gonna lose Pittsburgh, aren't we? Now we're out of guns. That's not good. All right, so we got the, the Indiana divisions. No. Um, do that for now. Cut these guys down. Because technically we do have enough divisions. Oh, there we go. Indiana divisions. Go and delete them. I'd rather make our own divisions. That'd be better. We got more than enough support equipment. Holy crap! Actually, if that's a case. Can we throw engineers on our dudes? Why is it lagging so bad? Ah, uh, hungry. Ah, that's why. That's why. Yes, throw engineers on these guys. I don't care if we don't have enough yet. Because that'll just give you more defense, basically. And that's very good to have. Hey, more warfare is nice to have. Let's grab some of this next. More. Wait, that's a lot of organization. Plus 15 is a lot. Sovereignist demand Middle Africa. All right. Don't lose it. Don't. For the love of God, just don't lose it. The car really doesn't like us right now. Oh, which is fine with us. We don't really like them either, so. Let them kill themselves on the line. Revive motor factory is very good. Mo oh, modern arms factories reverse engineering the people's vehicles <clears throat> sure why not we have a great deal of vehicles that were abandoned or earlier used for transporting goods that the workers have seized reworking them as ably as we can into military vehicles will ensure they don't go to waste why not <clears throat> I mean that's, this group is really not the one I, I really want to fight I'd much rather be fighting the feds in the car I'll be honest right now oh they're actually beating us up here huh alright well whatever Doing the best we can. They're still attacking us like crazy, so... Nothing yet. Now I got that extra division in there. That's nice, 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 nice. Throw one more down here. Hey, why don't you go all the way down here? It's fine with me. Yeah, I mean, how many men have we lost? That's a lot of guys we lost, actually. 55,000? Yeah, that's a lot of guys. It doesn't help that we're using all this militia. It just, militia sucks. Militia just, it's just so bad. Hmm. We weed out the clan. No clan here, please. No, thank you. Goodbye. I just literally make them so we can delete their divisions and get more guns. <laughs> That's literally it. Yeah, the car mm, doesn't can't do too much against us. Everyone else, eh, we'll see. Actually, I don't mind maybe attacking here. So I will like those tanks, but it takes so long to make tanks anyway, so. Mm, Ottoman Empire, pretty normal stuff, pretty normal. Uh, get back in there, guys. Get back in there. Actually, at this point, I'm going to convert all of you guys. No, all of you guys. No, you can't have already all converted. You guys kind of suck. We don't have enough infantry equipment nor towed artillery. But we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Strike Black Legion cells. Yes, please. Yes, we would gladly take some stuff here. Oh, crap. They're attacking here, too. Oh, that's not good. Mm, you know, what? I'm going to force defense. Screw you guys. We're going to defend until we die. Get rid of the guns. Give us their guns. Literally just give us their guns. If I don't do some crap like that, we're going in. Now we're probably going to lose. How do we lose that? Wait, what? Orders are in southern New Jersey? Great. Well, that's the case. Do this. Because this is looking really bad. Alright. Okay, we're going back in. Screw you guys. Yeah, I don't know why, but the feds seem extremely strong this time around. How are they this strong? Do they have pushing against us? Maybe not, huh? I mean, yeah, we're using quite a few militia divisions, but still. Cancel Lund lease. Do not lose Harrisburg. For the love of God, do not lose Harrisburg. Yeah, they're really attacking us across the entire front here. Yeah, I hate all these militia divisions. Where are the militia divisions? Get rid of them. Just straight up get rid of them. Hey, it says we have no militia divisions, but that's obviously a lie. Give me these god-awful divisions. We're converting them. They're, they're never worth using. Never, ever, 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 ever worth using. Um, if that's the case, I'm going to go and delete this. We need as many guns as possible. Nope. Support from Cindy's. Okay, 50 more political powers. Not bad. Alright, you won, so that's the most important thing. Just hold, hold, hold. We're only attacking because we need to counterattack sometimes. I uh, have no despair there. You guys go over there. Also, I did go with uh, Luis Scundi. Just to be a little bit different. Armor gets more speed. Motorized gets more speed. Division and attack, which is nice, but... Now it's with Poncho Barnes. So something different than I normally do, so... That's why I chose them. Um, honestly, if they're attacking already, 
Might as, well, might as well oblige him, right? Take Indianapolis. Let it burn, let it burn, 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 burn. And good. All right, we got it. Not bad. Give us some time because we got to... Oh, my goodness. Please don't attack us up here. For the love of God, please don't attack us. Oh, look at that. The black... That's a pretty nice black revolt. It's pretty well connected, I'd say. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Order story West, Western Wisconsin. Excellent show. Great. Oh, crap. Now they're going to really push against us. That's really not good. Oh, boy. So all this stuff isn't done, which is nice. It's still 37, of course. Could get some more cap. I was just looking, it's looking okay over here, over here. It's, it's kind of okay as well. Artillery would be good. That's we're, do, we're doing okay on technology. We really sort of are. I do want to use some cast, so we'll do that one. And they're really pushing against us right now. They're really pushing. And we really can't afford to push, so. More guns, please. More guns, more arty, more good stuff like that. Uh, we might be able to push him out of there, but we're not going to do that. Oh, boy, 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 boy. No, you're literally not allowed to lose. I'd rather lose you, make you lose your lives compared to anything else. So it's you that's doing this. Or not holding as well as you possibly could. No, if Vanderbilt. I'd rather lose Harrisburg than lose that stuff up there. I do not want to retreat from this side at all. These feds. I don't understand. How are they getting so much equipment in here? Their manpower should be dropping much more, right? Oh, they're out of infantry equipment, which is nice to see, but so are we. <laughs> um, we need more stuff here, too. So, you guys had to come over here now. Uh, it's too dangerous to let this part be, like, independent. There you go. There you go. Good luck. Mm, we'll go with this one. Get more defense for our guys. People's vehicles, nice. Let's go with reverse engineering. Let's go with modern arms factories. We need to focus on the obvious, which is the basics of military output. Thus, we will invest in building such factories out of old ones. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, I don't want to lose that. I really don't want to lose that, but whatever. Um, what else do we have here? Let's go with that one. More defense. Get in there, boys. Get in there. Don't lose it. How are you three divisions losing here? When we're fighting over a river, man. I just don't understand. I think the AI really is just set up to be against you completely. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. They're fighting over a river. That makes no sense. What the winter resource allocation program? Fight for the people. Fight for the revolution. Fight for the people. That's why we send the motorized in here right now. Yes, please. I seriously don't understand. They've got it. Like, unless they have the little push against us, but they don't. So, really not understanding this here. I don't know. Then again, there might have been an update that might have made this a little bit more difficult for the Reds. I don't know. Sure, guys. Sure. Oh, these guys are long as pushing guesses too, huh? These divisions, these divisions are mostly pretty much ready and to go. We're just missing a lot of infantry equipment, which is big sadness hours, man. Western Command Center is capitulated, which is unfortunate. We want to attack their guys. Quit it. You should be able to win up there. They're attacking the other way, so. Don't lose these places, guys. How? 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 Please. Oh, my God. Please let me know. Yeah, the, the thing is completely always against you, 100% or something. That literally makes no sense. Over a river, for the most part. Not all these divisions are, but that's ridiculous. Uh, We have nothing against these guys, so. Um... Who is it? Who's attacking? Oh, I guess we gotta stop for now. Don't worry about it. Hold. You guys just hold for now. Oh, we really need to get long. Yeah, I'll do it on the longest front for now. That's fine. I do not. We're not going to ban the side. I swear to God, I'd rather have all my divisions die than ban the side. Keep holding out. Keep holding out. Look at this. Three, basically, when we, they don't, and they're getting pelted by planes as well. And they're still losing somehow. We've lost. How did we, seriously, uh, we should have done superior firepower. I wanted to try something different, but don't ever try something different. Don't go against the grain. How? 3v3, 4v3, and you're still winning. How? I'd love to learn why, like, it's always against a player. It's always against a player. 
The last time I played the CSA, it was ridiculously easy. But right now? Oh no, no it's not. Because you barely win here. 4v4, and they're even attacking someone else. And you can't even win? I mean, I guess our guys aren't too any combo with, but... Their Canadian divisions definitely aren't. These guys might be. And these guys are militia, so they suck. But, you know, whatever. Um, Alright, you want to attack? Or take the territory back? Uh, what, do, what was that? Cuban manufacturing support, huh? That's kind of cool. Uh, what about you guys? General patents, army reforms... Do these guys not get anything here that, uh... I'm gonna collapse. Radical taxation. Colbert Olsen, huh? Alright, well, whatever. Uh, if we have to retreat... I really don't want to retreat from there, but you know what? So be it. We'll save some, uh... Manfire and stuff. Go with Ambusher for now. Alright, anything else here? Ambusher. If we can do it. Alright, so we got enough political power for now. Call up emergency reserves. Uh... I just... We just need equipment. That's pretty much it. That's all we really need. Can we get anyone here that could give us more attack and defense or something like that immediately? Max entrenchment would be really nice. Organization would be really nice. More attack and defense would be really nice. Um, we can always use this one for attack and defense. More organization period would be very good. These guys, I swear to God, man, this is so dumb. Just stop attacking them, Jesus Christ. You hold, but just support the attack so you don't actually lose your position there. I mean, we're doing the best we can. We're holding out pretty well, though. In some areas. Definitely some areas. I refuse to give up, Pennsylvania. I refuse. Kill those fed boys. No one likes a fed boy. Black Revolt is gone, unfortunate for you, for the Black Revolt, and we lost Pennsylvania. Or Philadelphia, really. Well, that sucks. He plays MacArthur again sometimes. Support from Syndicalist would be nice. Alright, we got yeah, about 80 that time. That's not too bad. Yeah, no. Like, this is ridiculous, man. They, they, that's a lot of manpower. I guess that makes sense, but still, like, that's, they're very, so, they're so small. So small. But after this one, we can do reverse engineering. We've managed to destroy or capture plenty of enemy tanks during the war, and we should make an effort to reverse engineering so that we may catch up to a more military advanced foes. Look at that. How? They have even less organization than our guys, and they're, and we're still losing. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but so, something's, something's a mess here. Something's definitely a miss. I think that is a core of ours already, but still. Uh, does Huey Long have something against us? No, they don't. Nothing down there either, huh? Weird. Let's grab some of this too. And now they want Indianapolis back. Alright, well, if you want it back, you're gonna pay in blood for it. And heavy, 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 heavy blood. And the Deutsche Mill Africa's down there too, huh? Cincinnati? Well, we, you know what? Old trades. You guys can have Indianapolis. We'll take Cincinnati. I'm pretty sure I clicked on that one. Eh, the game is lagging pretty darn hard, actually. Yeah, no. Just keep holding on, guys. Keep holding on. Oh, Southern Ohio? Yes, please. We'll gladly take Southern Ohio. I guess really the goal here is, like every campaign of the CSA, just gotta hold out for quite a while. NDWL and live support. Very good. Can you guys actually win there? No, hold on for now. Hold, just hold for now. Yeah, it gets long, and the car, not great. These guys, I'm... This looks like a mess. This is a gigantic mess. But as long as they can't beat us here, and our guys are actually getting more than enough, like... Experience and supply for now. We'll be okay. Uh, as much as I want you to really attack there, you probably don't want to do that. Ah, I see what you're doing over there. I see. Oh, now they're attacking. That's good. Keep your, your guns. <laughs> yeah, you can fight for us. And then we just tell them to go home and they, we just get their guns anyways. Okay, how many of you long soldiers have we killed? We killed a lot of the car. Pretty nice. Very good, very good. And we got the river over here. Yeah, it's weird. that oh, Maybe they're pushing over here. You know, I'm fine with that. Let them put, kill each other down there. But I'm just looking for, like, us. Like, we we got the bonus to fight on the National Front or the Longest Front, stuff like that, but still. We're going to weed out the clan. Yes, please. No more clan here. 
We're not very clan friendly in this campaign for now. Ambusher, please. Thank you. Are they actually? Ooh, that's, that's, we're starting to lose here. I'm not sure how, but they can die. Die, you pieces of garbage. And go into. Go straight back on in. Go ahead, ambusher, too. All right, Red Flag, if you like your that, please go ahead. Oh, we're starting to lose over here, too. Oh, push against the long. That's not good. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, and we were the rightful president as I set this campaign up, so. Push on the federal front? No. Let's put it on the nationals front. Because they, they're, they're just really pushing us really hard right now. 1.119. 1.19, I guess I should really say. Oh, uh, do we lose all the ports? That sucks. You guys. Oh, another carrier. Oh, yes, please. Do this area. If anything comes in, you kill it. We're going to have a lot of room for fuel, but that's all right. That is A-OK -okay with us for now. All right, you guys go back in. You should be able to deal with those guys pretty easily. Up next, anything else here? No. Planes, not really. No, either. Naval auction could be pretty good, but we do have enough air, so we'll do that one next. Kill them off. Don't lose that tile, either. The feds have stopped really pushing against us. Look at that. Ah, a task force. Good. Jolly good. You, you guys really want to lose Indianapolis. Ah, uh, Butler. Let's go with that one. Alright, well, even though I complain quite a bit, I mean, we still have plenty of manpower. We've killed off more than double what they've inflicted upon us, so. Not too worried about that. Oh, the communes of Hawaii, huh? Oh, Hawaii. We'll get you back someday, hopefully. Also, I think Alaska broke free. Yeah, Alaska did break free. Well, yeah, at least it's mostly green. Actually, it's all green right now, which is actually okay with us. Definitely okay with us. Ah, uh, welcome back, Indianapolis. Welcome back home. Been there. Not in 1938. Definitely not. And now they're attacking us again. Canadian intervention. Ooh. Too frightened by the, the prospect of a syndicalist America sitting on their doorstep, the Canadians to the north, along with the British masters, are currently preparing an intervention. We cannot prevent it from happening, but some believe it might be possible to delay if we were to quietly contact and fund Canadian labor movements, get them to rise up in strikes that have obvious syndicalist connections. The Canadians might be too paranoid to take action until the strikes are shut down. It would, at most, buy us a few months if we keep it up. Otherwise, we should prepare to face an invasion from the north very soon. That's not good for us. Um, well... We gotta get ready then. Um, yeah, definitely we gotta get ready for that. I delay it. Yeah, delay it for at least two months. Yes. We we uh, we have literally no other. We need more divisions to do this. So, um, maneuver training. Not bad. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Tanks of the revolution. Hmm, we could probably use the tanks. With the recent successes, we'll open an IWW tank on tank. Or develop department on tank engineering specifically. Focus on researching and building tanks when they work with workers to more efficiently output the tanks that we will win us this war using the factories we've taken. Also, we're going to go ahead and read about maneuver t training. Simply because we have more mobile means of an attack does not mean our military up to, is up to the task of using them. Training based around our mobile warfare doctrine is essential and a Union Army. At long last, the Union Army has been organized around cooperating with the workers to build the vehicles we need that make the workers' output of force far more potent. The Union Army shall better organize with officers being selected amongst their own troops for morale and IWW keeping them connected to the factory lines. Which looks not, not too bad. Additionally, we get some more uh, mobile warfare, and then we'll probably read about the Red Air Force. The Red Air Force is comprised largely of amateurs and enthusiasts. Now we must bring a proper system of rank and training to an independent branch of the armed forces in the Second Continental Navy. Created at the start of the Second American Revolution, our Navy is mostly composed of sea ships led by ideological comrades as admirals. While our fleet can't meet the Federal Navy and survive in battle against one uh, one on one yet, we need to prepare a fleet and start organizing a command line, and I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone, so here we're at. It's a giant mess, and as you can see, we've lost Pennsylvania. And Canada declared war on us, so we kind of had to. We're about literally halfway to court, a little over halfway to capitulation. Um, we've killed off a lot of enemies, though. Over half a million um, feds, over 600,000 from Long, 1.23 million from the, you know, car, and then 123,000 Canadians. Overall, not too bad. We've taken 26,000 from Canada. We've delivered 123,000. Uh, a couple comments that we've done, or comments, uh, focuses. I've done maintain flexibility. Rather than accept any of the APA suggestions, we should direct them to stay flexible and develop methods rather than equipment. The second draft. We need more pilots for our missions, air missions, specifically. 
Some have suggested the possibility of drafting women to the military as well. This would boost her numbers and ensure commitment to gender equality. Women aces will be just as effective as their male counterparts. And who are we to turn away true talent? I only did that because it got more population. And this one's okay. You don't get any, any permanent effects here, so... I was like, eh, population is more important right now, especially since we're completely surrounded. Unleash the Hellcat. One of the most innovative things the Air Force has done is present a design for a carrier-based aircraft known as the Bethpage F-6 Hellcat, courtesy of the Bethpage Aviation Union and Design Bureau. The Hellcat would be our most agile carrier fighter to date, and from the sky. Our greatest chance of projecting influence or power across the oceans is through the use of, well, air power. We can aid our allies best by helping them achieve air superiority, and through that control, it's superior over the battlefield. In controlling the air, we can rain down fire on fortified positions and cities alike. I've also done revolutionary naval industry because I'm running out of focuses to do while we're completely surrounded with no access to the sea. Superiority of the old U.S. fleet was not only in our commanders, but also in fleet size, although we still don't have as many shipyards and factories as the U.S. had before the war. We can focus on specific ships and simplify production, which hurts our daily political power gain, stability, but I guess we can make subs faster if we had a dockyard, which we don't have right now, but a revolution on the high seas. The old federal fleet was limited to naval traditions that did not allow them to see that aircraft carriers would rule the oceans in the future. Although our oldest admirals are still inclined to the, to the idea of big guns and armor, they agreed that the aircraft was very effective against enemy ships. We need to ensure that the new American Navy receives air support when it is needed in any part of the world, and new American dockyards. Most shipyards were damaged or lost to their workers during the Second Revolution. The restoration of the old and the reform of the present naval facilities will be the second step towards the restoration of the American Navy. Competitions of new ships have already begun and will help us not only recreate the American Navy, but also get rid of old designs that proved to be ineffective, which we get lose 100 political power, we get some naval XP, which is pretty worth it, actually, and get more daily political power back, which is, I think, overall pretty good. And basically, uh, you get plus 10% in total per sub production speed, but as you can see, it's a little crazy. And the car's been invaded by the Entente. So the Entente just was like, I want to kill everybody here except for the feds. Except for New England. So, yeah. I, I should have set the game roller cannon. I can't intervene. But it does make it more difficult. And I'm not going to say it's unfair. Because it, it totally is unfair. But, like, it makes a lot of sense why uh, Canada would intervene. Like, I'm not going to, like, say it's wrong that they're intervening. But it makes sense. It, it just makes sense. Oh, my God. Look at that lag. Holy bad words. Get back on the line, guys. And then we're going to keep pushing. Because, my God, we need to keep pushing. Keep hurting them. Keep hurting them. I'm, I'm going to kill Canada. I swear to God, man. Oh, wait. Fire bombings. Oh, that's not good. And also the feds, they, they love attacking. Well, we also took part in northern uh, Kentucky. We've taken literally the almost the entire state of Illinois. Almost the entire state. Oh, we're so close. So close. Please. Please. As much as I don't care for Illinois. Please. Okay, Long. Where are your di where are your divisions, Long? Also, I, I've slowly been making some 40 combat with divisions here. So, like, like we're, we're ready to rumble. Like, we don't have a lot of fuel. But my god, we're ready to... Holy crap, look at these feds! Holy crap! Service by requirement. They're mobilizing a little bit more, it does look like, so... Um... Actually, do we, do we still have this? Oh, we don't have the thing against the feds. IWWDU doctrine would be very nice. Um, honestly? Why don't you guys keep going against the Canadians? Screw the Canadians. What if we just did this? Just go ahead. Um, I want to push against those guys, but the car should be okay long. Let's do it against long. Oh, do you guys don't have orders? Oh, maybe I didn't give you orders. I guess something like that. Three, two, one. Let her rip. Now, this is going to be a really bad fight against. But the feds, I mean, they have no, literally no manpower. Literally no manpower. Long against Canada up here is probably really bad as well. But we're pushing. We're going to go for the capital and burn Ottawa to the ground. I swear to God, man. We encircled these guys here, too, which is awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Yeah. I didn't realize that the feds killed this many... This much of their own man manpower off. That's actually really awesome. They do some tanks. We're not going to be able to break those tanks. Like, this is nuts, man. I've been building some refiners here, too. But not nearly enough, obviously. I mean, this is extremely bloody. This is probably one of the most bloodiest civil wars I've had in America here. So, yeah. It's not good for everybody. Eretria revolts causing some extreme... Oh, my God. It's extremely laggy. Okay. Oh! Well, I guess that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Hey, Missouri. We like Missouri, right? Right? Collapse of Middle Africa. Goodbye, Middle Africa. Yeah, don't piss off the Reds. I'm not saying they're overpowered, but... When you're completely encircled like this... You kind of get pissed off. But even... I, to be honest, I'm not pissed off at all. I'm like... This just makes sense. I've, I've been through the Civil War so many times that I'm going to make simple, mis stupid mistakes again and again, but... I kind of know what to expect every single time I do this. I'm not sure why Long is, like... How many of the divisions is Long half? Hold on. That's not enough dead Canadians yet. <clears throat> uh, let's see, 600,000. Mm. 
Hmm. They have a very good number of uh, divisions left, probably, but still. Don Socialist Republic. Wow, they're kind of ballsy over there. Russia's a big, big player, man. Revolution on the high seas. Very good. New American dockyards. Probably followed up with recreate the Continental Marines. In the past, the Continental Marine Corps pr proudly fought against the British oppressors, many of the soldiers of its successor, the U.S. Marine Corps, under the command of Smedley Butler. <clears throat> Joined us when we met with the capitalists in the Second Revolutionary War. With the recreation of the Navy, we need to be sure that we organize <clears throat> and train forces that can meet with other enemies of the rev revolution abroad. Yeah. Like, this is nuts. I got, I got a complete front-wide attack. I would say that's pretty suicidal. And we finally got our first tank out. Kampf Group, we could use more map but we're going to go with Modern Blitzkrieg. That plus an organization is nothing to laugh at. That's actually really good. Go here. Go, here. go to Ottawa. We need Ottawa. We're going to burn that sucker to the ground. Burn, burn, burn. Opdex also got some Bethlehem Steel, which is just the best one overall. Like, I'm not even going to fight about that. That one's really good. Uh, we're fighting the entire Entente. <laughs> like, just being realistic, we're fighting the entire Entente, which is nuts. Caterpillar, my friend works for that company. Uh, actually, I think my friend's dad works for that company. Um, armor, breakthrough, reliability. So, I like the soft attack in that one. Let's get some soft attack. All right, I feel that is not good. Thank you. I'm going to collect that. Cool. I think I'm going to stop the attacks very, very soon. I just want to get Ottawa, please. We've been pushing through West Virginia here, too, but... And I know we're killing a lot of guys, but I want Ottawa. We can't let up until we get Ottawa. I don't care about some of these other battles. Like, let's take a look at Long. How bad are you doing? He's got plenty of manpower. The car? Doing not very... Oh my Jesus Christ, no wonder they lost already a million against us. Yeah. By... Because... These guys have... Canada... Canada? Canada has... Oh, well, we already split them in half. Look at there. But not split them in half, but we split them. Um, because they've decided to do this, they, they won't be able to get the whole miles back at this point. They're, they're screwed. They're literally screwed. Ah, the Federalist retreats. Federalists seem to believe they can no longer do major damage as they've been increasingly caught attempting to flee our nation for friendlier factions, and their propaganda attempts have petered out. With the last vital cells having collapsed, they're virtually gaining no new recruits, and their counter operations are at long last over. Good. As it should be. Cool. No fuel, no problem. Kill every single last one of these pieces of garbage. Every single last one of them has to die. Care fighters will be fine, though. Um, that one's fine for now. We can get some more steel. We have plenty of steel for this. Look, I mean, I generally don't like doing these general attacks, but it, it, it's kind of working right now. I'll be honest, it's kind of working. Nice. Auto I mean, they made a massive mistake. 30 to 40,000 manpower. I mean, they're only on volunteer only, but, like, Jesus Christ. Canada. Canada. You made a massive mistake. And we're pushing down to the, the south now. Definitely through the south. Oh, this is nice. That's real good stuff, man. I'll say ultimatum. The world under precipice. Now, the third international is going to leave our faction here. That's actually so nice. That border is so nice. Oh, my gosh. Switzerland looks terrible. What happened? Chechia. What the heck happened to you? Uh, I, I didn't even look at Europe yet. This looks disgusting. What happened to the southern... What? Venice exists, but what happened to southern... It, what the heck? Okay, well, Hungary is not looking... Austro, oh, it's the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Karl, what have you been up to? Oh, the Polish Republic as well. Russia's looking pretty th nice and thick. Um, And then pretty much everything else is looking normal. Uh, the Fengchen government... The... Russo-Mongolian All-Military Union. Jesus Christ, what is that? That looks like a lot of fun. Are they in the Japanese faction? No, they're not, huh? Interesting. Thank you for your guns, because we're going to need them. And, or really, they are. Yeah, I guess they don't really have artillery there, too, but whatever. The world is at war. The world's been at war against all of us. <laughs> what do you mean the war? The world is at war again? <laughs> at this point, I think I'm going to stop attacking very, very soon. I, just, I don't think we can keep this up too much. Ooh, go, 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 go. Jonesboro, that's nice. Just go in there. Go, 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 go. I want to break the car. we got to break the car. I want Ottawa, for the love of God. You, I want to force attack so badly, man. I really do. I mean, we're doing great against Long. Like, over here, we were losing earlier, but now we're winning. We're winning over here. We're winning mostly down here. Um, Commonwealth of Independent Nations, what is that? Okay. Now we're not winning around here. Get Ottawa, for the love of God. Get Ottawa, get Ottawa, get Ottawa. Stupid Canadians, you will not see the light of day. We really do need more artillery pieces, though. But New American Dockers are nice to have, too, right? And we don't have any tungsten. We can't literally import any because we have no ports. Um, What's next? Oh, down here. Yeah. 
Retreat the Continental Marines, followed up with what? The Liberty ships? Yes. Our dockyards have at last switched to a new model of production. We can easily produce a massive number of convoys to supply our allies around the world. People's Navy? I like that one. A new naval plan. Um, and then... Ooh. Navy of a new age. We'll read that one maybe in a little bit. Thank you for your weaponry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We don't need more soldiers. We just need more equipment and better soldiers. Because I'm, I'm trying to save a stockpile here, but it's just not enough. Because we can't afford any more tungsten. Because we're completely surrounded. So, yeah. Not very good. Hey, Ottawa's ours. Good, good, good. Um, I'll be honest. I don't know if these anyone else can really do anything else here against us. Ooh, that's... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Well, even though we voted against the, creating the CIA, we've created the CIA. <laughs> yeah, Canada, you... Edward VIII, you really screwed this pooch. Before I even started the war, they had over about 1.8-ish to 2, 2 million man-ish. Yeah, no, not anymore. Less than a million. That's sad. And we're actually getting some fuel back, too, now. It's awesome. Do we have any extra spare planes? No, not really. Which makes sense, but still. Also, our navy is in Mexico. Like, we were we were lucky we were able to send our navy to Mexico. And we have a carrier as well. Like, And we haven't lost too much, so. Um, oh, that manpower is not looking... Or political power is not looking pretty good. I just want to capitulate. Guys, someone lose. Make them lose that. Please. Because we can capitulate these guys. Capitulate these guys. I I don't think we can capitulate the Canadians in this episode. But I want to at least capitulate somebody here. Please. We've lost two-thirds of a million men. We've lost... How many Canada? 108,000? While killing off over 280,000 of them? It's not bad, man. Upper state New York? Or upstate New York, really. Ah. Oh, that's going to pull... That's going to destroy the Entente. They can't deal with... They, they're they struggling trying to kill off America when America's killing itself. The on top... Yeah, uh, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't think so. I really don't think they're going to be able to pull anything off here. Yeah, that, that's, that literally just doomed their entire war effort. So, the car's going to die, and once the car dies, I'm going to push out all the on top in the south, focus on the federal government in New England, and just... I'm not even really worried about the West, I'll be honest, at this point anymore. They, 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 they're, they're done. I'm not sure what else to say, but I'm going to end the episode probably once we capitulate somebody here. Somebody. These guys are out of equipment. They have to be out of equipment, right? Murray's, well, he's almost out of manpower as well, but yeah, they're out of equipment completely. Actually, we got plenty of guns. Oh, we're pushing this the longest. That's right. No wonder we're doing so well. Yeah, Federal Front's got to go next. Even then, they're attacking us and we're still doing okay. So, I wonder our pee, pee Montreal. Good. Oh, how oh, weak they are. That's good. It's good stuff, man. Uh, you guys sit down here. Nationals take over the Netherlands. I don't think I remember ever seeing that one before, but sure. Why not? Smetley Butler's doing a great job. Anyone else have upgrades yet? Yes. Oh, so many people have upgrades, actually. Ranger, that's great. Joseph, improvisation expert, so you move slightly, slightly, slightly faster. Great. Oh, you guys aren't doing anything either, huh? Well, I guess we didn't have fuel, but still. Go on, go on in, guys. Just go on in. Um, if that's the case, Millies are nice and all, but we still need more fuel. Thank you very much. Norway's been called in. All right, against the Josephine Baker. She was a real person, I'm pretty sure, right? See, so Israel, Uganda, which is very weird, but okay. Um, there you go. And then Liberty Ships. Great. Followed up with Navy of New Age. The Second Revolution almost destroyed the Navy. None of us expected that we would recreate the old American fleet, but it was restored, perhaps not in the same quantity and form, but now the old ships have been replaced by new ones. Without the old bias admirals, naval tactics have been modernized, and the new American Navy is ready to defend freedom in America or around the world. Yeah, I don't want to keep attacking, but we kind of have to. I, I just, I just, I want them all dead. Okay, so they got a lot more manpower back here, which is really, actually, really, really bad for us. But my god, I want, we will stop the attacks once all the other fronts are taken care of. Canada, please, capitulate. Capitulate, you pieces of garbage. We've lost a lot of the feds. I know we have, but still. Guys, just, just go through here. It'll be alright. It'll be okay. I mean, we you saw where we began it here. These guys don't have nothing on us. Maybe except for the PSA. The PSA is not too... Radical socialists. Huh. We didn't... 
Is it possible to peacefully reunify with those guys? With the group? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I think I, I think I want to push against the feds, but really the nationalists. If we could capitulate the nationalists first, that'd be pretty good, I think. I mean, look at this. That's ridiculously good right now. How many divisions do they have? They were going to take back the UK with 97 divisions. Yeah, I don't think so, man. I really don't think so. Come on, give us back some more soldiers. I don't want to have to fight the feds that much, but I think... I don't want to do it against the Nationals because they're so close to capitulating anyways. I think we'll do the feds. The Nationals will capitulate regardless, so... I think we got to fed it up. Nice. Oh, now it's really hurting us, these attacks. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Since you're here anyways. Help us up, up root whatever we have down here. Keep going, keep going. You're doing a great job. Lower what we need for now, because we will stop the attack soon-ish. Just capitulate one. Ah, oh, we got Atlanta. There it goes. There it goes. We got him. And that's where we'll probably end today's episode. So, because everyone's trying to kill us, I'm not going to give them anything. I'm taking it all. I'm sorry. Not really. No, I lied. I'm, I'm not sorry at all. But, that's where we're going to end today's episode. Tomorrow, I guess we'll just continue with what we're doing. And I'll probably capitulate at least maybe one more enemy. But if you enjoyed the video, especially the first video in this campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and let me know which way should we go. Because, which, because well, I'll leave it up to you. The next step, friendship with Mexico, uh, war plan green, maybe, maybe not, Mexican standoff, demand New England. But really, the revolution at home versus a world revolution and the subsequent focuses such as international collaboration versus denounce international treachery. Um, and there's also socialism in one nation versus socialist liberation. So, I don't know, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. But thanks for watching and have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.